Hello guys, it's the one and only Fashion Academy. Today I'll be teaching us how to read your measurement slip. Please make sure you watch this video to the end. That is one of the mistakes that people normally do. Make sure you watch it to the end so that you uncover all the secrets. And also please don't fail to subscribe and make sure you like this video because the more you like this video, the more others get to see it. Please make sure you watch this video to the end. This is one of the topics that people underrate but it is one of the best to pick. Thank you very much. Like I said, looking at this thing now to you, it might look so confusing, you know, all these things. But the truth is that um, I was preparing the class, you know, trying to draw all these things. Because without all these things, it cannot be clear to you. Do you understand? So all these things are related to how to measure your how to measure with your work, a tape. Do you understand? So looking at all these things now, now there's something I really need you to say. You see all these points and all these lines now you're seeing here. These are actually what I do what I did what I transferred to this place. Do you understand? Okay. So as you can see, you can be seeing them now. They are one, two, three, four. Are you seeing it? You can see it one by one. You now can't count all of them. Do you understand? Now, there's something I really want you to see. Now, first of all, see something. Now, when we count these um, lines one by one, that's why I wanted to remove the metal part on your own tape. Do you understand? Because if you don't remove the metal part, it's so confusing that you don't even know where the line started. Do you understand? Okay. Now, look at it very well. I'm coming, look at it very well. We have what one. Are you seeing it? We have what two. We have what three. We have what four. We have what five. We have what six. We have what seven. We have what eight. Now you seeing that one ended at what eight. Do you understand? So you can see, let's also go to the um, second part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are you seeing it? So it means that each box, you know, from zero to one is let's say call it a box. Do you understand? Each box contains how many lines? Eight lines. Do you understand? Now, since they contain eight lines, now there's something I really want to show you here. When we were in primary school or secondary school, there's something we do, something like a box like this. Are you seeing it? Now, they will tell us this is a box that contains what? Four figures. Like it contains four boxes in one. They say this is the first box, second box, third box, fourth box. And they will now tell you, when I shade um, one box, what will I have at the end? No, one over four. The total is four. You understand? You don't do what is remaining. So what do we have? One over four. Do you understand? Okay, now they not come to this one. They not come to this one. What should be the answer to this one? Two over, two over four. Are you seeing it? Two over four. Are you seeing it? Now, but there's something about this two over four. You see one over four. Nothing can divide each other. Here you see it. So it it remains what one over four. But two over four can something still divide each other? Are you seeing it? So it is what two in here. It is what one. Two here is what two. So at the end of the day, it is what one over two. Do you know another name for one over two? Half. That is it, man. Half is one over two, man. Do you understand? So are you now seeing that this one is two over four? But at the end of the day, we are able to get what half out of by dividing it. Are you seeing it? So this one now should be what? One over. One over eight. One over eight, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Are you seeing it? So this one is one over here. Are you seeing that now? Nah, normally, eh? See, sometimes people used to be afraid of the mathematics in fashion. But are you seeing it? There is nothing hard in it. It's just simple mathematics, depending on who explains it to you. Do you understand? Now, since you've gotten this thing, please, I want you to use that same mentality you have and transfer it over to your tape. Just exactly this thing I just done here. Now, let me show you again. This one is what? One over four. None is dividing each other, so you leave it at what? One over four. Another name for this one over four is what? One quarter. Is anywhere you see four, call it what? Quarter. Quarter. Do you understand? So now see one quarter. One over four. One quarter. Are you seeing it? Now you now do this one. How many are shaded? Two boxes are shaded. Out of what? Four boxes. So that means it is what? Two over four. Now in this two over four, you see that it is you can still divide something. You understand? Now when you do two divided by two is what? One. Two divided by four is what? Two. So thereby we have what? One over two. In that case, another name for one over two is what? One and a half. She? Half. Okay. So now you now come to this very box now. It has eight boxes and you shade one. Are you seeing it? So when you shade one, is what? One over eight. That is one out of what? Eight boxes. Assuming it is two that is shaded, what will you get? Two over eight. Now what? Can, can you just leave two over eight like that? Thank you. What do you do? Two here is what? One. Two here is what? Four. So what do you have? Another name for one over four is what? Thank you. Shake me. That's good. Okay, so let's continue. So take that same mentality you have here. Do you understand? Into this very particular of your tape. Now, the truth is that 
we, we should have used our tape directly, but it is so tiny that even the camera, do you understand, might not be able to see it. So that's why we have to put it here so that it's very clear for you guys. Do you understand? So now, next thing you need to do is what? Exactly what you did here, take it over to this place. Now, on this, um, the first line now, what do you call it? No, 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 no. Look at this. This box I did for you. It's the same thing. See the first box. Boom. Are you seeing it? So in that first box, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the first line out of the eight is called what? Thank you. Are you seeing it? Whatever we did here is what we are taking here. Are you seeing it? Just don't be confused. Look at it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are you seeing it? Now, we now say, what do you call the first line here? That is what? One over eight. That is the first line out of the word. Eight lines. You understand? So that's why we have, see, that's why we have one eight. Are you seeing it? That's why we have this first one. One over eight. Now, the second line is called what? Two over eight. Two over eight. Share. Okay, now, do you know why? We did not just, we cannot just call it to eight. We cannot call it to eight because do you know why? Like what we did here, you cannot leave it like that. It can be divided. Do you understand? So now when you divide it, now what do you get? Thank you. When you divide it now, let's say two over eight. Are you seeing it? Two here, one, two here. Are you seeing it? So what is here? One quarter. Are you seeing it? That's very good. Okay. So the third one is what? Three over eight. Okay. Should we call it three eight? No, we have to call it three eight. There's nothing else that can divide. Do you understand? See what I want you to be doing here. Eh? You know when you score three over eight, eh? You can also give it that name by removing that over. Call it what three eight. Do you understand? When you have one over eight, call it what one eight. When you have one over four, what do you call that one? One quarter. One quarter. Anytime you see four, call it what quarter. Do you understand? Okay, okay. So now, we've done this one, one over eight, we've done this two over eight, divided, we give you what, one quarter. We've done this on three over eight, so what, what is this one? Four over eight. Four over eight, so it can be divided. Yeah. So what do you do? Four over eight, hmm? four here, one, four here, two. Are you, so what do we have? One over two. Another name for one over two is what? Half. Half, that's very good, okay. So, after that one, the next one is what? Five over eight. Thank you. See, I, love, I just love the way you are following. Do you know you are following it? Using the first example I gave you. 1 over 2 over 3 over 4 over 5 over. Do you understand? 6 over. That's how you go. Anyone that you can divide, just divide it and keep going to the their same number. Immediately you finish 5. The next one is what? 6. The next one is what? 7. The next one is what? 8 over 8. Do you understand? Something like that. Okay. So, so 5 over 8. Share. So, 5 over 8. Can anything divide? No. So, you leave it to what? 5, 8. eight. Thank you. So, this one is what? Six over eight. Can anything divide? Yes. yes, something can divide. Six over eight. Okay, what do you do? Two can go. Do you understand? Yes. Two here is what? Three. Three. Two here is what? Four. So what do you call this? Three over four. Another name for three over four is what? <laughs> Another name for three over four is what? <laughs> Use that same mentality I told you. Three what? Three, four. No, <laughs> you don't call four, four. Quarter. Uh -huh. So three. Three quarter, three quarter. Do you understand? Yeah. Three quarter, please. Three quarter. <laughs> one over four is what? One quarter. Are you saying? Are you saying? Yeah. Three over four is what? Three quarter. Okay. These are the common names. In order to get the common names, always remove your half. Do you understand? Whenever you see four, call it what? Quarter. Uh -huh. Whenever you see uh, eight, call it eight. Do you understand? Uh -huh. Okay. So next one is what? Seven. Seven over eight. So seven over eight, can anything divide? No, so you call it what? Seven, eight. Okay, so next one is what? Eight over eight. eight, over eight. Now, eight over eight, we all know what it is. It's one now. Uh, when you divide eight over eight, eight here, one, eight here, one shape. At the end of the day, that's why we have one here. So by men looking at our tape, it's the same thing. Are you seeing it? That's why we have one here. Are you seeing it? Okay, now let me go back to the next stage. Now, thank God you've known this side shape. Now, let me go back to the next stage. The next stage now is, after one, what do you start calling those other ones? After one, it's very simple. Hmm? It's very, very simple. This is more like son name now. This person has son name. Do you understand? Now, after one, eh, see what you call. See, you first call this, this before calling these other ones. 
Do you understand? So now, see this one now. After one now, this one now is what? One, one eight. Are you seeing it? One what? One eight. So after one now, this one is called what? One, one quarter. Do you understand? This one is called what? One, three eight. Are you seeing it? This one is called what? One and a half. This one is called what? One, five eight. Are you seeing it? This one is called what? One, three quarter. This one is called what? One, seven eight. This one is called what? Two. Are you seeing it? So after now, this one should be called what? Two. Two. Are you seeing it? After two. You now start counting with what? Two. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is the confusing part. Uh -huh. Continue. <laughs> How do you have it? Hmm? This one, this five, three, eight, I don't understand now. One, eight, one, four, one, four, that one. <laughs> Which side do you understand? The, after the one? Mm -hmm. After the one. After the one, mm -hmm. to the next level, I don't know how you get this one. Because it's like, going... Okay, okay, okay. Now, I like the question. He said, you understood the formula to this one, but you did not understand the formula. Now, let me break it down for you. There is no formula to this one. This one, it is this one. Whatever you get in this one, eh, use it on this one. The only thing you need to do is what? Any whole number that you are seeing in front, call the name. Do you understand what I mean? See, this thing is the same thing as this. In fact, all of them are the same thing. The only difference is the whole numbers you are seeing in front of them. Do you understand what I mean? So in that case, if this one is one eight, this one after one is what? One, one eight. Do you understand what I'm telling you? There is no formula. It's still the same formula as this. Are you seeing it? So it's only here you divided, did all these things. At the end of the day, whenever you want to call this one, see what I mean. Are you seeing it? See, this one is what one eight. This one is what one quarter. This one is what three eight. This one is what half. This one is what five eight. This one is what three quarter. Are you seeing it? This one is what seven eight. And this one is what one. See, immediately you finish, eh? You start afresh. But before you start afresh, first clock call this thing you are seeing. One, one eight. Start afresh and be counting them, but just be putting one in front. Are you seeing it? Because you've already reached one. So now, next thing you do is what? One, one quarter. Are you seeing it? Now, next one is what? One, three, eight. Next one is what? One and a half. Next one is what? One, five, eight. I like the fact that you're looking here. That is how it's supposed to be. The only thing you just need to put is what? Put that one. I mean, you reach one. Start counting from afresh again. But make sure you put what? One in front of each one you are calling. You understand? So this one is what? One, three quarter. One, seven, eight. Then you now find what? Two. So now, what do you call this one? Mm -hmm. That's very good. That's very good. You are getting it. Seriously. It's called what? Two, one, eight. So this one is called what? Two, 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 what? One quarter. Two, one quarter. You are correct, my dear. So this one is called what? Two, five, eight. Two what? Five, is that five eight? Three, it's three eight. Three eight. Three eight. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Always know one two three. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Two what? Three, three eight. eight. So this one is called what? The next one. Mm. Um, two one. and a half. See? Mm. Okay. Next one is called what? Two five eight. Thank you. Two five eight. Next one is called what? Two, two three eight. quarter. Okay. Next one is called what? Two seven, two, seven eight. eight. So after two seven eight, what do you get? Three. Three. That is how you start counting. You continue counting. Do you understand? Three one eight, three one quarter, and what else? Three three eight, three and a half, three five eight, three what again? Three three quarter, three seven eight, and what? Four. You keep going. Four one eight, four one quarter, four and a half. Do you understand? That is how you keep going till you get them. Do you understand? Okay. I know this is. This is that's why I told you. Eh, this part is a basic class. Eh, it's a very serious class. See, after this class, eh, and after if you, so far as you have the fashion to get this particular topic, eh, you can see that eh, this tape, eh, you're gonna laugh people. You'll be laughing at people when they are using this tape and they don't know how to use it. You'll be like, you, you, you know what you tell somebody? You tell somebody, do you know? Point anywhere in this tape, I can tell you what it is. Like, the person will be like, all these things. You know, but the person no no say, the person does not know that the secret to all these things is just know the first line. Do you understand the thing? See, if you know the first line, you know everything. That is just the secret. So let's say I know from this zero to eight. eight, eight. It means that I know other ones. The only thing I will do is that immediately after one, I will repeat the other one. One, one, this one. Immediately, see, immediately I reach here. Okay, now. 
Let me let me show you something. After this at seven, what is this first one called? Three. This is thirty-seven. After that seven, what is this first one called? Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> it's one. It's one one eight. One over eight. Mm. That's seven. Uh -huh. one over eight. Thank you. That's seven. What one eight? That's what you call it. Do you understand? Uh -huh. After that seven one eight, what do you call this next one? Thank you. That's seven words. One quarter. Okay, that is how you go. When you reach fifty-eight, what do you call this one? That's very good. So when you reach fifty-eight, what do you call this one? This one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you one and half. Fifty words. Seven. No, this is one and a half. See? That's it. Now you see now that you're making use of your manual. You're always making use of your manual. Eh? Yes, it's not a bad thing to have this, to have this as your basic manual. Do you understand? But all I want you to do is let study it so that it will be in your head also. So that your head will be your manual. How do you do it? You just see, you can count it in your brain. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you understand? So the first one is what? One over eight. The second one is what? Two over eight. And you can also divide it in your brain immediately. That two over eight is what? Two, one, eight, four. Do you understand? At the end of the day, okay, that two over eight is what? One quarter. Do you understand? That's how you be going. Or even when you immediately, see, you can do it to the extent that immediately you know, immediately you call that two, two over eight, you know that it is one quarter. Like you don't even need to start dividing because already you divided it from the first day you learned it. You understand? Why I'm even, why I even wrote it two over eight is just to teach you. Ordinarily, I know that it is one quarter. If you notice from here now, from the second one, I did not start writing that two over eight again. I started writing straight from what one quarter, because I've already done the division here. Do you understand? Okay. Okay. So, as you can see, these are the. We're now going to convert the fractions. Looking at these ones, they are the fractions. See? Okay. So let me just do it as a division. So let's start from the first one. This one is what. One eight. This one is what? This one is what? Three eight. This one is what? Half. This one is what? Five eight. This one is what? This one is what? Seven eight. This one is what? One. Okay. So in that case now, uh, we actually what we did is that we took our calculator, she, we now divided one over eight and we got what? Zero point one two five she. And we divided 1 over 4, we got what? 0 0.25. We also divided 3 over 8, we got what? 0 0.375. We divided 1 over 2, which is half, we got what? 0 0.5. And we also divided 5 over 8, we got point, what? 0 0.625. We divided 3 over 4, we got what? 0 0.75. We divided 7 over 8, we got what? 0 0.87. Then this one is 1, which one cannot be divided by anything. So at the end of the day, still a whole number, 1. Okay, in that case, um, what I just want you to know is that this one, you already know it, 1.8, that's what you call it. Now, like I said, anywhere you see 0 0.125, or anywhere you see 0 0.125, do you understand? Whether there is 0 in front or there's no 0 in front. So far as it's just 0 0.125 or 0 0.125, call it the same thing as what? 1.8. Anywhere you see 0 0.25, call it what? 1 quarter. Anywhere you see three, um, 0 0.375, call it what? 3 over, um, call it what, 3, 8. Anywhere you see 0 0.5, which we already know, call it what, half. Anywhere you see 0 0.625, call it what, 5, 8. The same goes to this one. Anywhere you see 0 0.75, call it what, 3 quarter. Anywhere you see 0 0.875, call it what, 7, 8. We already know that 1 is always what, 1. So in that case, that leads me to um, um, giving you an example. I gave you an example. I said this one you are seeing here. 1.5. What is the common name for you to call it? Looking at our charts we have there. One and a half. Share. Okay. We call it one and a half. The reason is because, see, remember, the half we already have here is what? 0 0.5. Now, it's more like you're taking one to replace the zero. Instead of calling it half, you call it what? One and a half. So now, like as you can see, this one we have what? One here. So, assuming you remove this one here and put two here, what is it called? Two and a half. Two and a half. Okay. Assuming, assuming you remove these two here and put 
30. What is it called? 30. 30 and a half share. Okay. So in that case, now let's say as for example, now we have 2.125. We have 2.125. What is it called? Looking at our chart here. 2.18. Now, why is it 2.18? Are you seeing it? This is the one eight we have. We are now replacing this zero with what? 2. Are you seeing it? We are replacing the zero with two. So that means you are getting it. Thank you very much. Okay, now, so now, this one will also lead us to what? Like I said, body measurement, we usually divide by what? How many inches? 4. We divide by what? 4. We usually divide by 4, especially the round bust, the round under bust, the round waist, navel, and round hip. Do you understand? Then, while talking about the tie, we divide by what? 2. two. We divide by 2. Talking about the sleeve, round sleeve, we divide by what? 2. Okay. So in that case, we now have a measurement here. You, as you can see, this is your measurement. This one is 37 inches. Your round bust is what? 37 inches. So now divide 37 for me by 4. Let's see what we get. It's 9.25. Okay. So 37 divided by 4 is what? 9.25. Okay. Looking at this, our chart, what is it called? What are you going to call it? 9. Thank you. Now look at the chart. Now you can see 0 0.25. Look at this 9.25. So 0.25 is what? One quarter. So you call it what? Nine one quarter. Are you seeing it? Okay. So this helps you whenever you are working. See, whenever you are working with calculator. Like if I ask you to divide this, you can be able to do what? Say it out. Some persons, when you ask them to divide something, they will not have to say it out. All they will have to do is to do what? Show you the calculator. I see they are dumb. They know they talk again. You understand? So let's go back to the round on that bust. And on that bus is what? We already have what? 30 what? Uh, 30 and Thank you. Now, have you not seen that? We have not done division, no. But this is your hand on that bus. Now, for you to be able to pronounce it very well, 30 and a half, is because you already replaced that point 0.5 by half. Are you seeing it? So this is what? 30 and a half. Now, 30 and a half, what are we going to divide it by? Thank you. You divide your round on that bus by what? Four. Or you divide the 30 and a half by four. Do you know how to press it in the uh, in that calculator? 30 and a half. Do you know how to press it? You don't know how to do that. Okay, let me come and teach you. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's say this is the calculator. You want to press 30 and a half. You already pressed the 30, 30. share. Okay, now look at it. 30 and a half is what? 30 points. I Only your calculator. Okay, are, are you seeing it on the board? 30.5 shade. Mm -hmm. Now, are you seeing any points on that your calculator? Yes, okay. then press the point and press your five. That's exactly what you are seeing there. You're seeing it 30.5. Now, divide by four. Okay, so what are we having? We are having, uh, we are having, um, first seven. of all, what do we have here? We have five. Eight. First of all, what do we have here? 7.625 share yeah. 7.625 so on the board looking at the chart what is the common name 58 hmm? we have 758 758 okay now we have 7.625 now you now have to look at the chart are you seeing it look at the board are you seeing it from 1a to 1 now look at the chart where you can see the word 625 are you seeing it it is worth 58 so in that case where we have 7.625 is the same thing as what seven, uh, seven words five eight. eight you understand yes. seven point six two five is something as what seven five. five eight okay that's very good that's very good okay now we now have our round hip which is what 42 divided by four let's see what you get okay 42 divided okay you did not press 42 please okay don't make mistake oh. say 42 not 45 42. By, what, four? by four what do you have 10.5 and what's the common name to that 10 and five uh, 10 and half 10 and half share yeah. okay that's it so that is the essence of this particular class like this particular you know um section in um, using this chart in order to teach you what how to pronounce and call measurements whenever you finish your calculation in using your words calculator do you understand whenever you see your any calculation written in decimals this will enable you do you understand know how to call it exactly call the common names are you okay so um is there any confusion first of all hmm? no. there's no confusion Shay. okay so now let's see move over to doing some other examples 
You understand? Now we have both of 18. Oh yeah, let's go there. <laughs> Divide it by four. We have bust of 30, as you can see, bust of 30. 7.5. Okay, we now have what? 7.5. What's the common name? 7.5. 7 now, let's go back to the other one, 33.5. So you know how to press it now on the calculator. 33.5 with 33. Okay, 33.5. Yes. Okay, what is it? Divided by 4. Yes, it should be divided by 4. Eight what? Point. Eight, eight point. point. Uh huh. Eight point three seven five. Share. Okay. What is the common name of eight point three seven five? Eight three eight. Eight three eight. Share. Okay. Now look at it now. Eight point three seven five. All you need to do is to do what? Go back to your chart. Look for where you can find. 3.375. Are you seeing it? So what is there is what 38. So it means that what we have is what 838. Okay. So in that case, what is 38 uh, divided by 4? You say what? 38 divided by 4. 9.5. Okay, 9.5. That one is simple now. What is it? Nine and a half. That's good. Okay, thirty-seven divided by four. Okay, nine point two five, nine point twenty-five. So, what is the common name to that? Nine one quarter. Nine one quarter. That's very nice. Nine one quarter. Okay. Um. Okay, let's go back to this one. This one is very unique too. Look at it. Thirty-two point five divided by what? Four. Eight points. Eight points. One two five. One two five. So what is it? Eight point one two five. Look at your this chart. It's eight one eight. Eight one eight. That's very nice. Eight point one two five is what? Eight one eight. When you look at the eight point one two five, you go back to your chart. So this is the point one two five. Are you seeing it? You now go back to your chart and search for it. This is point one two five. Look at up. What we have here is one eight. So all you need to do is to do what? Take this eight. Are you seeing it? Replace with this. So what you have is what? Eight one eight. Okay. Thanks for watching guys, please make sure you like this video because the more you like this video, the more others get to see this video and also make sure you subscribe, I, like I said, don't fail to subscribe, make sure you subscribe so that you have this exclusive access to our videos, you have uninterrupted access to our videos, make sure you subscribe, thank you very much and may God bless you, I love you.